Welcome to stage one of the Giro Rosa. After yesterday's prologue, it is Kirchmann that is wearing the pink leader jersey. It is only 12 kilometers from Gaiarina to San Vior, but this stage leads the peloton over 104 mostly flat kilometers through Treviso with one nasty climb at 17 kilometers from the finish line. Will there be a bunch print or is the climb hard enough to split the peloton into pieces and the breakaway gets a chance of winning this stage? But today is a very strong uh, uh, day and I hope uh, this is uh, a good, uh, good day for my team and for me. But uh, I don't know the, um, the climb, it's uh, the, the group, uh, the idea, but uh, I, um, I hope this is a good, um, good attempt. Obviously the most important thing or the more important thing to yesterday was that you're only five seconds uh, of the win yesterday. Have you been surprised and does that show that the form is there now? Uh, yeah, I, honestly, I, my, my, in my head was, uh, okay, I won't go fast as possible for, uh, for win. Uh, I know that uh, <laughs> probably I'm not strong enough uh, like a, a big rider, but uh, yeah, uh, in my head uh, was uh, just a uh, win and uh, I'm, I think I'm not surprised because uh, I work hard uh, the last, uh, I can say the last one month uh, in Aviva also. Uh, I was really died after the Aviva but I recovery I think uh, in a good mood so now I'm here and uh, we will see stage by stage. You, you won two really good sprints uh, at Changming Island. Um, do you expect to be one of the best sprinters here in the Giro Rosa as well? Well, it's uh, so stranger for me because I'm, I'm first time come to Europe and uh, for the road race, it's the first time uh, for the Giro Rosa, so I will be doing my best in the spring. <laughs> yeah. Kirchmann will hope for a bunch sprint, of course, and in that case, she could even keep or extend her lead. After rolling out of Gaiarina, there's one lonesome hero of the day going on the attack. Marta Tagliaferro, Bastinelli's teammate from Ale Cipollini. She rides around 17k at the front and has a lead up to two minutes, while Kirchmann's team Liv Plantour is controlling the peloton. But in the more hilly final, the pure sprinters don't really play a role anymore. In the climb of Sarmede, a group of four emerges at the front of the peloton. It is Stevens, Garnier, Elisa Longa Borghini and Nivia Doma. Elisa Longa Borghini takes the point for the GPM and will move into the Maglia Verda. And that's the climber's jersey of this Giro. The four in the front are really an elite group of climbers and contenders for the overall victory. But with Longa Borghini and Nivia Doma, it is only plan B for Wiggle High Five and Rabo Liv. Their GC captains, Mara Abbott and Anna van der Brege didn't make it into the group and their teammates now don't want to work at the front. So it's all up to Stevens and Garnier and even they're trying to make the others help, but they're biting on stones here. Meanwhile, 45 seconds behind, there's a group of five in the chase that work perfectly together. And it is a beautiful group of riders. Claudia Lichtenberg, Giro winner of 2009, Mara Abbott, Giro winner of 2012 and 13, Giorgia Bronzini, twice world champion, and Tatjana Guderzo, once world champion, and Raza Leveiti, a 27-year-old rider from Lithuania. The five come closer and closer, and with one uncategorized climb around 10k to go, they have their opponents in sight. One last time, Stevens tries to encourage Nivia Doma to help, but the Polish champion refuses. Van der Brecht sits in the peloton almost one minute behind, where Liv Plantour is chasing hard for the pink jersey of Kirchmann. Five kilometers to the finish, the five chasers catch the four leaders, and now it is one big group that will probably will hold all the way to the finish line. And that's bad luck for Kirchmann and Liv Plantour, who work hard to get the chase back. But the group in front will be too big to catch. In the peloton, it is still Liv Plantour on the front, still believing in it, with Molly Weaver and Carly Taylor, who put in a high speed, but they really don't get much closer. In the last 3K, it is Armistead who made the jump to the front, so Bulls has now three riders in the front, just like Wiggle High Five. The two big teams work together, while Elisa Longa Borghini is doing the most of the work now. Her teammate Bronzini is the fastest woman in the group, so Wiggle doesn't want the peloton to come back. 
on the last kilometer the peace in the front group is over. Stevens is the first to open the fight for victory, but immediately Bronzini herself jumps onto the wheel and closes the gap. Elisa Longo Borghini gets dropped after kilometers of pulling the group. With only 300 meters to go, it's Gagner who launches her sprint early from the back of the group, but Bronzini is right there on her wheel and comes out of the slipstream and comes out of her slipstream on the last 100 meters. Lele Vita is on her wheel, but she can't get past Gagner. So Bronzini wins ahead of the women's world tour leader and the Lithuanian rider. Georgia, stage win at the Giro. Um, I don't know how many you have already, but it another stage win in Italy, how important is that? Uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy and uh, one of the uh, happiest uh, things that I did uh, after the finish line was the high five with the father of Marianne and uh, make me really happy. Everybody expected before because the, the stage was not very hilly but it was a bit hilly. People said, okay, could be a bun sprint, could be no bun sprint. What did you expect before and was it exactly as you expected it? I thought it can be a little bunch uh, in the end, and that was. Uh, I thought maybe more athletes. In the end, uh, the climb was harder, so uh, there was the fourth uh, climber in front of us, and after me, Mara uh, Guderzo, Lele Vite, and uh, Claudia Hausler. We find uh, the according to catch them. Obviously, I work also yeah, for me, but also for Mara, because it was good that she don't uh, lose another second and she can be up for the for the general. So we did a really, really good job, uh, team good job. Uh, Elisa was amazing. I asked her to make a piece in the end for uh, for um, because I was scared, of course, for the attack for Thomas and uh, I expect uh, the attack from Stevens. So I was ready when she, she tried to, to go. You made it into the group on the last climb. Can you tell me how the race unfolded from the climb on? Yeah, from the beginning, the Bulls girls made a pace and then the Evelyn Stevens attack. I followed her. Until the end of the climb, it was actually pretty what? tough. And uh, yeah, we were with four, me, Megan, Evelyn and Elisa Longo Borghini. Uh, the girls from Bulls kept on uh, riding. I was on the wheels because I also wanted to Anna come back to my group. And then around uh, 5k to go, the group with, uh, I think, 5 or 6 called us again. And we are with uh, around 10. And then, yeah, on the last k, Evelyn Stevens attack again. And it was a bit splitted and bunch sprint, small bunch sprint, which uh, Bronzini won. Actually, it was really fast. <laughs> we still have a big uh, name like Anna van der Brehen. And for sure, maybe even if she today had uh, not her day, uh, we are still uh, with eight days to go, so everything can happen. As we, for example, saw it with the Nibali on Giro. So we have still good players to uh, to fight for the pink. Megan, congratulations! It's another pink jersey, another time in San Fiora. What's about what's special about this village here? Thank you. Um, I don't know. It's just another hard day in the bike, and the team raced amazing today. And uh, yeah, uh, we put ourselves in the pink already. Can you tell me how the team raced because you were there with two on the climb already and then? Yeah, we raced aggressively into the bottom of the climb. The team got together and drove it into the bottom of the climb and then the selection was made on that uh, 1.9 kilometer climb. It was really steep and uh, Evelyn and I tried to drive the group of four but it was just us working and we got caught from behind by a few others. Anything you can do in the final to, to get rid of them or? Uh, you know, it was already a small selection and we had already tried to, to make something happen, but it was, um, yeah, it was close to the finish at that point. This time the target is obviously to keep the pink until the end of the race. Yeah, but we got to take it day by day. It is early again, um, so yeah, just look to each stage. So it is Bronzini of Wiggle High Five that wins the stage, followed by Megan Garnier of Bulls Dolmans and Lele Vita of Armitalia Vajana Vontris. That means we have a new leader in the Giro Rosa. Megan Garnier is changing her women's world tour leader jersey for the pink jersey. Best young rider Kasia Niwidoma is now second with eight seconds behind. The same seconds for Georgia Bronzini. Lelevita did a great job and jumped into fourth and has to find 13 seconds on Garnier. Tomorrow there's the first uphill stage finish from Tarcento to Montenars to remember the tragical earthquake of Friuli in 1976.